under 10 minutes, I'm gonna help you transform your YouTube channel to getting more views and more subscribers by avoiding doing these three mistakes that you're probably doing that I realized literally every channel that I audited this year was making this mistakes like nine times out of 10. And so if you fix these three things, I promise you, you're going to see a difference in your analytics. Okay. Should we dive in? Let's go. What's up, Bastiani, your guide to authentic video. If you haven't yet grabbed my free YouTube growth guidebook and let's get into it. The first mistake that I saw almost all channels making when I was doing my audits was the titles were not intriguing enough. They were not sassy enough. If you clicked on this video, you know this title is quite intriguing. It's maybe a little too much, but you clicked on it anyway, so give it a like, because I promise you these are gonna be helpful tips. But your titles are gonna stand out from other people's titles by adding that extra oomph to them. So as a new YouTuber, it's so important that you have searchable titles with long tail keywords, and if you're like, I don't really understand SEO. Please, 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 after this, go watch my YouTube video. That's the secrets to SEO. I go way more in depth on how to write great titles that are gonna show up in YouTube's algorithm. But beyond that, beyond having searchable titles, you also need the extra oomph to them. And you can do that by just adding simple adjectives. So let's say that I have a crochet channel. Maybe some long tail keywords I found, which are longer search phrases that my audience is actually using could be how to crochet a granny square for beginners. Now that's kind of boring, right? How do we spice that up a little bit? What about super easy granny square tutorial for beginners? By just adding those two words super easy, it makes it way more enticing to click. Like if you had to pick between the two, which one are you gonna click? Think about that for your videos as well. Before you post them, think how could I make this just a little bit more, a little more saucy? Mm? The second YouTube mistake I saw in almost every YouTube channel that I audited this year is that your homepage is a hot mess express and that's confusing your audience and leading them to not subscribe or care as much about your brand. Going through people's channels, I found myself saying over and over again, I have no clue who you are, what you do, what value I'm gonna get from your channel, how you're unique, why I should trust you, and so much more. So let's answer these questions so that you can make your homepage that much stronger. Now let's start with, I have no clue who you are. If I go to my YouTube channel, you can see here, who am I? You can see really clear in my YouTube banner, I've got my name and my name also right here in my channel information. So very important, I highly recommend that you watch my training on how to create a really strong YouTube banner, okay? You can even see here, we've got one of my former YouTube clients in the Magnetic Creator Academy. You can see Jamie has her brand name, but she also has her actual name here as well. So that's really helpful, okay? So we know who she is and what her brand name is on her channel. I always say it's so important to have your name if you're a personal brand because how could I form a personal relationship with you if I don't know your first name? So even if you don't want your full name, having your first name is great. So if my channel was, if we stick with the knitting theme, knit for life, then I would still wanna add my name to it and it could be like knit for life with Danny. Hmm? Also besides your name, make sure you have a great picture of your face. Okay, so Jamie's got a picture here of her face and this one's a little bit farther away. I would honestly say actually if you could have a closer up picture, that's even better. So I've got a picture of my face that's showing my personality. And this one ideally would be a picture where people could kind of better have facial recognition of me there, but I've used this photo for so long that I just keep it because people have come to know it and I already have that brand recognition of it, so I'm not gonna get rid of it but have a nice picture of your face. And I recommend having the banner picture and your profile picture be different. Now, next, I have no clue what you do, what your channel's about, what I'm gonna gain from watching your videos. And so this again is something you can put in your channel banner, make it really clear. So if we go back to Jamie's channel, you can see Teacher Broad Online. She has a very clear statement, start your teaching journey. And even in her little sentence here from her description, it says fast track your teacher broad or online teaching adventure awesome, awesome way to share more about herself. If we go to my banner and my homepage, you can see I say helping entrepreneurs scale their brand's impact and income on YouTube. So it's very clear what people are gonna get when they're on my channel. Add a sentence to right here in your banner or you can add it also in your description in that first sentence that people can read when they go onto your homepage to better show people what they're gonna get when they come to your channel. Next, I have no clue why I should trust you or why you are unique and can stand out. So the trust part, you can see here, Jamie does a great job where she's got her master's in education within her name right here. So that's a great reason why I can trust her. 
Also, I can trust her because you see, she has traveled and taught overseas. She's got photos that she's showing of that in her banner. That also shows a bit of her personality as well. That's why she's unique. That's why I can trust her. So think, how could you easily add in these elements, maybe through a picture or through adding in like, let's say you are a dietitian. You could put registered dietitian in your banner or even in your channel name right here to help people better trust you and be like, yes, this is a channel I wanna come back to and I can learn from. Also, if you can add a little extra oomph with how you're unique or showing more of your personality, that's really helpful in your homepage. So you can see this picture, I feel like really kind of shows my personality well. I'm very bubbly. I, I like to laugh a lot, especially in my videos. And so if you can add something like that into your banner, that's really helpful. Or you could have like a little comment in your banner that's also like, YouTube lover and squirrel enthusiast, you know, or like nerdy dietitian, adding in different adjectives to make you kind of stand out a little bit and show more of your quirks can be really, really helpful. And again, build your community up that much better and make people wanna come back to your channel. Now, the last thing that I see is that you're not taking me through a journey of your content. And this is because you do not have clear playlists. Now, I highly recommend that you watch my training on how to set up your homepage. I go way more in depth into this in this video, okay? So be sure to check that out. But I wanna touch on it right now here as well. Let's look at Jamie's homepage and see the journey she takes people on. So it's very clear what people can expect from the types of content she puts out. So we go to her homepage, I can see her information. I know what she's all about. I see her featured video. Usually I recommend kind of a video that you like the best or that's done really well for your channel. Then she's got her most recent uploads and then popular videos, which is a great strategy there. And then her playlist start. And this is what I want you to make sure you do if you have a decent amount of videos out. So she has Teach English Abroad. She explains a lot in the title about what the playlist is about. It's not just Teach English Abroad, it's TEFL certificates, Teach Abroad tips, how to teach abroad. So it's a lot more searchable. And then she has a couple sentences explaining about the playlist and then she has the videos. And so she's got Teach Online, Teach English in Spain, TEFL cert certificate reviews, Teach Abroad step-by-step, -step, Canva tutorials for teachers. So it's a great, outline of all of her content in a really clear way that takes people through that journey of how to digest her content. How great is that? Amazing, okay? So do this for your channel as well. And if you want more in depth on it, you can check out my breakdown of how to set up your homepage in that YouTube video that I have. The third YouTube mistake that I saw almost every channel making in my YouTube channel audits is that I can't easily tell your channel apart from the competition which is a huge issue, right? You're losing out on brand awareness and views and people wanting to really invest in you if that's the case. Let me just show you an example of what this looks like. Okay, so I audited my church's YouTube channel recently. And if we look at their videos and their thumbnails, like if I were to search for any of these, they all look so different. I would never know that this is a Bayside Woodland video, right? I might be able to recognize our pastor, Corey, but other than that, you know, these are kind of somewhat similar, but so many things are different. There's not one theme. And this is something that I had trouble with as well in my channel. If we go to my channel and I go to my oldest videos, you can see here, first off, these thumbnails are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> don't make your thumbnails look like this, okay? But you can see I'm using like different fonts. This is a different font than this. This is a different font than this. First off, there's so much going on here, but the fonts are different. I'm not using the same sort of colors. My face is in them, but it's not really that large in a lot of them. It could be a lot bigger where people could kind of have more of that facial recognition. And if we were to compare these to my thumbnails now, if someone were to search and I was in the top 20 of the YouTube algorithm, people could easily be like, oh, that's a Danny J video. Why? Because I've made my branding very clear now. I'm using the same fonts and I'm using the same colors and my face is very consistent in them. So we can see it's so clear. Like look at, look at these especially, like it's so clear that this is a Danny video. And so when you're a new YouTuber, it's so important to pick one main font, pick like two main colors that you wanna use and then use large pictures of your face that adds that recognition. And if you are a faceless channel, then just make sure that you use your logo in the thumbnail and that'll set it apart and differentiate it where people can easily pick your thumbnail out from your competitors. Building a community on YouTube means people are gonna to come to expect certain things from you. They're gonna to come to expect how things look your humor, your personality, your teaching style, all of these things. And so you want to try and remain as consistent as possible. And of course you can always evolve in things, but having the main things really stay consistent is gonna be very helpful. And it's gonna allow you to have people trust you more. There's a reason that 
when you go into a Target in California, it's gonna look the same as a Target in Texas. If we were to go in and they were super different in terms of branding, we'd be really confused and it would make us uncomfortable. But because we go to Target, we know what to expect from it. We know what it's gonna look like. We know the branding. We feel way more at ease. I'm ready to spend that money. Same thing goes for your brand as well. All right, so now that you know the three mistakes that I saw in my channel audits, I want you to go and double check your channel and fix all of these little things. And then when you do, let me know in the comments. I would love to check out your channel. All right, have an awesome day and happy YouTubing and I'll see you next video. Bye.